Hello everybody, this is Dawn here for just a impromptu video. Um, today it is October the 11th, 2016, and it is in the tradition, in the Jewish tradition, it is Yom Kippur, and it's also called the Day of Atonement. So I made a quick post on Facebook this morning. It's an important day for me, long has been. I am not um, a Jew, but I've just always resonated with this day. And um, so I made a quick post on Facebook and went on into my day. And, and um, Spirit was nudging me like to come do this video. So I'm going to just speak for a few minutes um, and share it with you. I hope um, this is meaningful to you. Um, I'm just doing it completely off the cuff. So um, I will say when I came out here to the woods to do this video, there was a deer and it is the first deer I have seen uh, this time living up uh, where I am on the side of still waters. There was a deer and my hawk is out this morning. So um, that was just confirmation that this was the right thing to do. So here goes. So first, let me just read you what I posted on Facebook this morning. And um, you can follow me there. I occasionally post things like this on my personal um, page. So um, today is Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, the holiest of days in the Jewish tradition. It is a day of purity and cleansing the soul through asking forgiveness from others and standing before God. It comes as the culmination of 10 days of repentance, which are interestingly called the days of awe in the Jewish tradition, the days of awe. I just love that. And I've actually had some awesome days um, in the last 10 days. As a matter of fact, I have to count back, but um, I took three days, uh, set three days aside uh, for myself to reflect on um, the new commandment that Yeshua brought forward when he was here on earth um, to love one another. And... Um, so just FYI, for the record, I am fully human and I've had my moments of not staying in that energy necessarily, but I'm working at it and that's what this is all about. So back to Yom Kippur, it is a day of purity and cleansing um, of the soul and it's about asking for forgiveness um, and I see it as not only asking for forgiveness uh, for forgiveness from others, but also, you know, really within asking for forgiveness in the ways that you have betrayed your own soul and your own soul's truth and radiance, your your star power. And it's about coming before God um, and asking um, for our hearts to be purified and cleansed and made holy and be recon reconciled to God. And there's this wonderful blessing that is associated in the Jewish tradition with the observance of Yom Kippur. And um, it's a blessing that you give one another that says, may you be sealed for a good year ahead. And um, that's just a beautiful, a beautiful image to me. So, you know, I've always felt the resonance with this, this holy day. And it feels very much to me like a clarion call to love a return to love and again to ask for and receive um um to to ask for and then receive forgiveness and also to offer and extend forgiveness even when it is not received so to me that's what this day is all about and um it's about dedicating our hearts to purity and grace and trusting that we are indeed sealed and then in, sealed in and then like showered by the one love that moves in and through us. So uh, on Facebook I had posted, you know, consider today how you might walk in the way of love, giving and receiving forgiveness. And for me, um, when I reflect on that, Oh, gosh, <laughs> there are so many ways that um, that we can do do that. And perhaps the simplest way is just to remain present to our own unfolding process in the course of any given day, no matter what happens, just to remain focused on the fact that we are here, we are blessed with this life, we are indeed sealed in love forever and held in an infinite grace. And to celebrate that, but also to really be aware of those ways that we have not acted in accordance with that. Um, where we have, um, we have denied someone else their truth, perhaps, um, or we have lashed out in order, we think, to protect what doesn't need protecting, but it, that's, you know, our justification often. And 
So um, today I just encourage you to return, you know, just have a moment of stillness and return to the whole of who you are, to your whole self and your soul self, and know that you are forgiven and set free. You were born free. You were created free. You were born free, and you're meant to live free. And, um, you know, I often say only fly for freedom. And while this isn't like a, a freedom taken lightly, though, this is not just, oh, let's all be free, right? We've got to come present and be responsible and take re full responsibility for the way that we move through this world. And um, in my way of understanding, the best way to do that is to walk in the way of wholeness and to walk in the way of love and to be love and to, to the best of our ability, to bring a gentle restoration of love here and now, whatever your circumstances, even if people do not wish to receive that, um, then own it and, and offer it and let it be. So I also want to touch on uh, just something that's coming up right now for me, which is um, there in the 12-step uh, tradition um, for those um, it's Alcoholics Anonymous and those struggling with addictions, there is um, this tradition, um, I believe it's step eight, which is making amends for your wrongs, um, except when to do so would injure them or others. Or maybe that, it may be step nine, eight or nine, I don't know which. But um, in any case, um, this idea of making amends. So. I just want to offer um, just this, if this is useful or for anybody out there, um, I think that can, is a very valuable process. And yet, I want to say again that, you know, in my experience, the thing is that we have mostly harmed ourselves um, when we have strayed from what we know to be true and who we know we truly are because we were afraid because we were afraid of it and because perhaps we didn't know how to hold that level of light and love and still move through this world and it can be confusing um, and particularly on some paths where some of us are called to bring forward something that we hold within that we may not understand and it can come up against the grain of uh, what society would tell us is acceptable and that can be very difficult and so today is also a day just to honor the journey that you are making and to be present to that and to trust your intuition to guide you where there is a need perhaps to make amends or to atone for some um, some mistake and again not to judge yourself because we are created free born free and meant to live free so release yourself from judgment you know you are free you are free you are light and life and love and you are free and um, as we really step into the center of that freedom you know honoring the whole of who we are and honoring each person's path because that's, what's free, that's what freedom is all about. Freedom is not about this is the right way and we are free and we're going to separate ourselves out from you. That is not freedom. Mm -mm. That's false freedom perhaps, but it is not freedom. Um, so I've wandered into freedom here. <laughs> I'm very passionate about that topic, but um, it does. For forgiveness and freedom go together for me. Um, they're very related. So I just want to encourage you, you know, um, if um, if you do need to take steps to atone for some, some wrong um, and, you know, forgive yourself first and then take those steps in faith um, and do not be attached to it being received. Um, just make um, make what restoration um, that you can offer be you know in reconciliation when you are able to do so and you do not feel um, that that is somehow a violation of your truths so um, 
that's an important thing. Um, last thing I just want to lead us in is uh, something you can do um, today or any day, which is ask that that God create within you a clean heart and renew a right spirit. There's a beautiful song. Um, you can Google, um, I believe it's Created Me a Clean Heart, Keith Green. Um, Amy Grant has a version, and there are several other recordings that are, you know, sort of like uh, from the worship tradition, worship music tradition. So um, it goes like this. It says, Created me a clean heart, O Lord my God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, O Lord. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation, O Lord. Uh-oh, I forget the rest. <laughs> <laughs> That's the part I know. And by the way, gosh, sorry, I'm not the best singer in the world, but go Google it um, and listen to that. And just know that in any moment, it doesn't matter what you have done in the moment before or in, in the 50 years before, um, that God will grant that. And God will give you a clean heart and renew in you a right spirit and he will not cast you away or set you apart because God's desire for us is that we are free and we are we understand that we already are forgiven and held in an infinite grace. Um, much love. Have a beautiful day.